Good evening, everybody. Today is Tuesday, May 16th. <laughs> We're making our way playing more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Messing around a lot, wasting all the time. Got some Hinox Tooth on my shields. Collecting a bunch of stuff. Having a grand old time. We're actually about to beat the game. If you notice, look at the map. We've got nothing completed. We only got two regions. Well, yeah. And then we've got the whole rest of Hyrule. The whole depths, which is not even completed. Probably 0.01%. And we've got the Sky Islands, which we only looked at one. Which is the tutorial. So we're making a lot of progress. And now, you know what I love about this game? You can literally play this game... A lot different than one of your friends. Your friend can have the same or different adventure. And you guys won't even know it. Because everyone's adventure is different in this game. Because you can make different items. Different fuses. Use a lot of different uh, weapons. Mechanisms. You can level up fast. Or you can go the whole long route. You can go the short route. It's, it's awesome. We'll be going the long ass route. Because we're going to get everything in this game as much as I can. <clears throat> because that's the way I play. And it's my favorite, one of my favorite games of all time. I grew up with Zelda. And I'll die with a Zelda game in my coffin. Ah. Oh, that was kind of morbid. Let me not say that again. All right, let's. We're gonna do the side quest, and before we go to the Rito Village and talk to our birdie friends, we talked to Impa. We went on a hot air balloon with her. Took some nice, friendly pictures of some cool signs in the grass, like the Mel Gibson movie. And now we gotta go find out what is going on in this temple, because I think this temple is gonna give us some story lore about what's going on with these tears. They're called dragon tears. And apparently, Link can find out what's going on with Zelda. So we're actually real close. I think it's down here, and I think it's this temple down here that we've visited in Breath of the Wild, but there wasn't really much there. There was actually just a, I think a treasure chest and a statue. And I think it was the old goddess statue in it. Skyward Sword, I think. So, that being said, let's save real fast before we go down there. So, this is completely blind. I'm going to be going down here, and then I'll be talking, maybe hopefully find Impa. I think she's down here. I forgot. You know what? Let me switch to my options. I don't like the way the map is, uh, the mini map is locking to north. That's more, but that's a lot better. Some people like that. I, I don't like it that much. This is that gigantic ravine, I think. Yeah, it is. Forgotten Temple. Yeah, that's right. This is what this thing was called. I wonder if she's over here. Unless she's like... Lower. Yeah, we're too high up. We should have, like, walked her. You know what? Let's go grab that Corkerick suit over there.
I don't know why they're so funny. I love that noise they make. I wonder how many there are in this game, because there is 900 in Breath of the Wild. And I, I got, like, I think 826 of them. Dude, I was literally on, on a mission to try to find as many as I could, and I still couldn't. I was like, I had enough. I got all my, my bag, like, completely upgraded, though. Like, so I was able to actually, like, use... Use find them all from full potential, but I, I have to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. After I realized that the upgrade you get, I mean the the gift you get was nothing important. It was just like a stupid ass like coin. Like Nintendo was just like, oh, we're gonna troll the uh, player and give them nothing when they collect all these things. And I was like, oh, I'm not worth. It's not worth. Oh, what? Oh crap! I didn't even roll. What the hell? Dude, was I not supposed to come down here yet? Damn, dude. He shot me in one hit and killed me. Okay, well, at least it saved. Maybe I'm not supposed to be down here yet, because if this is a high-level area, I'm just going to come back. Maybe it is because. Hold on. Let's see if she's over here. Okay, she's right there. Let's reread this, what it says. Alright, maybe I guess we gotta go inside. Cats. Lady Impa grew impatient the moment I took my eyes off her. She went deep into the temple all by herself. Once I finished mooring the balloon, I planned to hurry after her.
Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here, I don't think, because these what I don't like Look, I could do this if I wanted to, but honestly I don't think I'm going to. I just want I don't know. We'll see. We'll just keep going.
Okay, we finally found Impa. Let's go talk to her. Hmm. Oh, Link, thank you again for your help with the balloon. Oh. I believe there is something related to the geoglyphs somewhere within this temple. I am searching, but so far it has been in vain. The chambers here are so enormous, so it will be difficult for the task at best. You know what's funny about this place? It's so enormous and big, but it's like very quiet and like creepy. Mm -hmm. Where could it be? Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. Let's try to do this. Uh, let's mm -hmm. do the shrine first. All right, we cut the shrine segment out of the video, so this is Polly from the future. So we're gonna continue on with this video and show the rest of the episode. The shrine was pretty tough, but I loved it though. A lot of thinking and patience. So we'll have that on a separate video. Oh. They're some like kind of symbols. I believe the one we saw first was the geoglyph on the left edge of the wall, which is true. Huh. Okay. Oh! Huh, it's a whole map, I think. Of, is that. Wait. It seems the locations of the other geoglyphs from the wall are marked on the floor map as well. Yeah. I can hardly believe what my eyes behold. What could have guessed that these old ruins still held such secrets, right? It is said that the geoglyphs appeared all over Hyrule during the upheaval when Princess Zelda went missing. How they are connected to these images here. Oh. There is no time to dwaddle. 
Let us hurry and investigate the remaining geoglyphs. Mm. Perhaps you should have rested a bit before such a trying journey. Oh. Link, if you happen to see any geoglyphs during your travels, I urge you to investigate this matter as well. If more strange visions are awaiting are waiting at the other at, at the other geoglyphs, just like the one you already experienced, well, perhaps they will provide clues that, that could lead us to the Zelda. Okay. This is really interesting, guys. I love quests like this. Oh. There may even be dragon terrors pre present at the other geoglyphs, just like the other one. So, uh, perhaps you should somehow make a copy of the map. Oh, no. I was just actually going to do that. You read my mind. That's guessing Hyrule Castle. Looks like a portal pad. The Master Sword. Huh. Looks like the uh, Temple Warren right here. A Zonai creature. Interesting. Looks like a face, kind of. Alright, well, what I'll do is I'll take a picture of this, but I think that's it for this episode, guys. Okay, I have 10 geoglyphs left to investigate. So we have to find these all over the map. And it's a main quest, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We have a lot more coming your way with more Tears of the Kingdom.